Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living or a turn worth having. The problem we have is that other people want to steal your life and steal your living. The liars in them are allowed to stay because companies don't do their job today. They simply fire people instead of putting them in jail, when they should be in jail for their stupid play. A stupid player is someone who is a stupid player. A wise man is a wise man. But let me ask you this. How many times does God have to hit you to the floor, but you'll still end up rising up in arrogance? When you rise up in arrogance against God, what does that mean for your future life in heaven or hell? Rise up, everybody says. Rise up and fight. Rise up and do this. Yes, but who are you fighting against and what are you fighting for? If you're fighting against tyranny, then you're not doing a good job. If you're fighting for something, then I th think you're probably still losing. You see, people get hit by God so many times, but they still rise up in arrogance saying, I am God. You are not God. The truth is God can hit you without anyone ever being right there. And if you don't believe me, then that's on your life. You're the fool who doesn't understand why America is here. You're the fool that entitles yourself to hire foreign students that don't have the legal or lawful right to work. You are fully liable to Homeland Security for allowing those children in and out of your store and have no intention to do anything but harm your guests and your vendors and your employees with their technological advancements. The liar in you is not the liar in me. You see, you lie about things that are important to you. I don't lie about things about me. I just have simply things, like many people do, of not to disclose. What I choose not to disclose is my choice and my right. You never have the right to take someone's privacy and disclose it as if it belongs to you.